Okay, I got out to do a little shooting this morning. I just put five shots downrange with the 6x47 Lapua. Built on a Savage Action. I've got two gongs out there, one at 525 yards, one at 700 yards. I put two shots on the 525 yard gong, and then I moved over and put three shots on the 700 yard gong. Now we're using the Bullseye Camera Systems uh, Ammo Cam Long Range Edition. It's set up on the 700 yard gong and I want to show you what happened when I shot the 700 yard gong. Uh, good thing I was using this because I'm pretty sure nobody would believe me if I told them what happened. Again this is 700 yards, actually 708 yards is what my Leica rangefinder was telling me. So we're going to move over to review mode. And I'll show you the shot progression at 700 yards. We'll start at the beginning. No shots on target. First shot. Okay, not bad. That gong is 18 inches in diameter. You can see the shot flash in there. That's shot number one. Shot number two, where does it go? Okay, there you can see shot number two landed exactly where shot number one landed simply enlarge the dent in the plate where did shot number three go there you see literally no change shot number three landed exactly where shots one and two landed we'll go verify at the target just to make sure Alright, this is the moment of truth. We're out here at the 700 yard gong. There's our ammo cam, long range edition. And we were, you know, you see the closest hill there with the one line of snow. That's where we were this morning. And we're out here at 708 yards, according to Leica. I did shoot another rifle. So that's pretty cool. That's a that's a three shots out of a 20 BR shooting a 55 grain 20 caliber burger bullet. Okay, but this is the one that I showed you on the shot progression. This is a six by 47 at 708 yards. You can see pretty definite there. At least two bullet dimples, and as we could see from the shot progression on our ammo cam, that's three shots. Three shots, and I'm going to say less than three-eighths of an inch at over 700 yards. That's absolutely insane. Holy smokes. All right, so we brought her back. Measured her with the calipers here. Any way I dice it, it's under 300 thousandths. Right there, I got a reading of... 0.291 inches definitely under 3 eighths of an inch well, that's insane so if you take a closer look um, shots 1 and 2 especially when you look at the the shot progression on the ammo cam shots 1 and 2 went both basically in the same hole uh, creating this larger divot here and then shot number 3 as you can tell in the replay hit slightly right and high as is evidenced by this divot here which has taken out the ridge of the original divot here to the left <laughs> so one more time it, it gets kind of grainy when you zoom in but here's our shot progression so shot number one Shot number two, landing exactly in the same place, creating that larger divot. Shot number three, then sprays out up and right slightly, creating the second divot that we see on the gong. So, zoom it in again. Shot number one. 
Shot number two. And shot number three. Wow. Be a while before I duplicate that one again.